Hi everyone! I just wanted to share my very first mixed media piece. Um, someone on the Scrap Beach contacted me, asked me to do a swap. Um, I have never done mixed media before and I wasn't even quite sure what it was. I'm assuming it's altered art and like any kind of medium goes, so that's what I did. I hope it's right. Um, the challenge was wings, or the theme was wings, and it's supposed to be four inches by four inches, and obviously I could not stay within that. It's so small for me. I'm used to working 12 by 12, right? So to do four by four is very, very tiny for me, and I uh, went outside of that with the wings. But, um, so what I did, I didn't, I went through all my stamps, and I didn't have any cool stamps, so I ended up drawing this little fairy here. Um, I drew her on watercolor paper, and then chalked her, and, um, I didn't want her to smudge. I don't know if the camera will pick up, but I just took a Versa, uh, Mark pen, and colored her in, and I added, um, clear embossing powder on top of her, so she's really shiny. Um, that way, nothing will smudge. And then her hair here... Um, what I did for that was feathers. Um, I don't know if it'll pick up really nicely. It's really pretty um, red feathers with some kind of blondy feathers in there. I'm a redhead myself, so um, not naturally <laughs> by choice. I'm a redhead, and so I like to make things with red hair. And then I did this little wing here. Um, I stamped it, and I I emboss all my stamps if I'm going to add uh, glossy accents to it because um, it'll start to bleed if you don't. So that's what I did there and added some sparkle. And then when I was, I used gold embossing powder all around the edge of everything. And when I was doing that, it kind of, just for future for people, <laughs> it kind of bubbled that up. So be really careful. And also melted my tool that I had on there, so I had to replace all the tool. So I took a old vintage um, Victorian rose photo and put it in the background there. And uh, the camera probably won't pick up, but there's a whole bunch of glossy accents with the glitter on there. Um, added some pearls to these little flowers. And then in the background here, and there's some here, you probably can't see it, but there's gold embossed writing from a Tim Holtz stamp. And then I, um, this is Raffia right here with eyelets. And then I used glossy accents and added um, gold beads just to kind of outline where the picture ended. I didn't like just leaving it raw paper. So, And then these little butterflies, they actually flutter when you move it around. It's got a piece of tool in the background. And this picture back here, um, it was just a printout that I did. It's a picture of a wing that has um, all the scientific um, words of all the different parts of the wing and I um, distressed it with distress ink and um, crumpled it all up and I kind of left it um, poofy. I don't know if the camera will pick up again. So it feels like a um, dead leaf. It's very organic feeling. I just wanted to leave it very natural feeling. And then um, those were stamps with glossy accents. I can see that that's picking up. And then I uh, took watercolor paper again, I distressed it, and um, I put some clear, actually I put some crackle paint on there, there's crackle paint on here too. Crackle paint, I wrote Rest Your Wings, which is like my neatest handwriting I've ever done in my entire life. <laughs> so, yay for my partner. And this is all gold embossed. And then these wings, which can actually fly. <laughs> Um, they tuck in, if she didn't want to have them out, they tuck in like this, and so they just have a little bit of floof hanging out, but it also works so it will, well, I'm on my couch right now, it will hold itself up if she wanted to, if she wanted to put it like on a table in a scrap room or wherever she wants to display it. And that's just the back, that was um, Glimmer Mist with some cellophane on there. So, but yeah, that's my very first piece. I think I'm going to turn around and make myself some, one similar to that because I really like it. And um, I'm glad I was able to share. And thanks for watching. And um, I'll have another video up soon. Thanks, guys. Bye.